Claude Chivalli was a French mathematician who made important contributions to number theory, algebraic geometry, class field theory, finite group theory, and the theory of algebraic groups. He was a founding member of the Boabarki group, Life. Chevalier's father was a French diplomat who, jointly with his wife Marguerite, wrote the concise Oxford French Dictionary. Chevalier graduated from the École Normale Supérieure in 1929, where he studied under Émile Percard. He then spent time at the University of Hamburg, studying under Emil Artin, and at the University of Marburg, studying under Helmut Hesse. In Germany, Shivali discovered Japanese mathematics in the person of Shokuchi Ayanaga. Shivali was awarded a doctorate in 1933 from the University of Paris for a thesis on class field theory. When World War II broke out, Shivali was at Princeton University. After reporting to the French embassy, he stayed in the USA, first at Princeton then at Columbia University. His American students included Leon Aaron Price and Gerhard Hochschild. During his time in the USA, Chevalier became an American citizen and wrote a substantial part of his lifetime output in English. When Chevalier applied for a chair at the Sorbonne, the difficulties he encountered were the subject of a polemical piece by his friend and fellow Boabacaster André Vial, titled Science Française, and published in the NRF. Chevalier was the Professor B. of the piece, as confirmed in the end note to the reprint in Vial's collected works, Oeuvres Scientifiques, Tome 2. Chevalier eventually did obtain a position in 1957 at the Faculty of Sciences of the University of Paris and after 1970 at the Université de Paris 7, Chevalier had artistic and political interests, and was a minor member of the French nonconformists of the 1930s. The following quote by the co-editor of Chevalier's collected works attests to these interests. Chevalier was a member of various avant-garde groups, both in politics and in the arts. Mathematics was the most important part of his life, but he did not draw any boundary between his mathematics and the rest of his life work. In his PhD thesis, Chevalier made an important contribution to the technical development of class field theory, removing a use of L functions and replacing it by an algebraic method. At that time use of group cohemology was implicit, cloaked by the language of central simple algebras. In the introduction to André Weil's basic number theory, Weil attributed the book's adoption of that path to an unpublished manuscript by Chevalier. Around 1950, Chevalier wrote a three-volume treatment of Lie groups. A few years later, he published the work for which he is best remembered, his investigation into what are now called Chevalier groups. Chevalier groups make up nine of the 18 families of finite simple groups. Chevalier's accurate discussion of integrality conditions in the Lie algebras of semi-simple groups enabled abstracting their theory from the real and complex fields. As a consequence, analogues over finite fields could be defined. This was an essential stage in the evolving classification of finite simple groups. After Chevalier's work, the distinction between classical groups falling into the Dynkin diagram classification and sporadic groups which did not became sharp enough to be useful. What are called twisted groups of the classical families could be fitted into the picture. Chevalier's theorem usually refers to his result on the solubility of equations over a finite field. Another theorem of his concerns the constructible sets in algebraic geometry, i.e., those in the Boolean algebra generated by the Zariski open and Zariski closed sets. It states that the image of such a set by a morphism of algebraic varieties is of the same type. Logicians call this an elimination of quantifiers. In the 1950s, Chevalier led some Paris seminars of major importance. The same an Eckhart and Chevalier of the academic year 1955 sixths with Henry Carton, and the same an Air Chevalier of 1956 sevenths and 1957 eighths. 
These dealt with topics on algebraic groups and the foundations of algebraic geometry, as well as pure abstract algebra. The Cartan Shivali seminar was the genesis of scheme theory, but its subsequent development in the hands of Alexander Groth and Eke was so rapid, thorough, and inclusive that its historical tracks can appear well covered. Groth and Eke's work subsumed the more specialized contribution of Ser Shivali, Goro Shimura, and others such as Eric Kala and Masayoshi Nagata. Selected Bibliography 1936 L'arithmetique dans les algebras de matrices. Hermann, Paris, 1940. La théorie du corps de classes, Annals of Mathematics 41, 394 to 418. 1946. Theory of Lie Groups. Princeton University Press, 1951. Théorie des groupes de lie, Tome 2, Groups algebraques, Hermann, Paris. 1951. Introduction to the Theory of Algebraic Functions of One Variable, AMS, Math, Surveys Vi. 1954. The Algebraic Theory of Spinas, Columbia Univ. Press, New Edition, Springer Verlag, 1997, 1953-1954, Class Field Theory, Nagoya Univ, 1955, Théorie des Groupes de l'I, Tome 3, Théorèmes Généraux sur les Algebras de l'I, Hermann, Paris, 1955, Sur Certains Groupes Simples, Tohoku Mathematical Journal 7. 14-66, 1955, The Construction and Study of Certain Important Algebras, PUBL, Math, SOC, Japan, 1956, Fundamental Concepts of Algebra, ACAD, Press, 1956-1958, Classification des Groupes de la Algebraques, Saint-Monnaire Chevalier, Secretariat Math, 11 Rue Curie, Paris, revised edition by P. Cartier, Springer Verlag, 2005, 1958. Fondements de la géométrie algébrique, Secretariat Math, 11 Rue Curie, Paris, 2005.